course, the location of the house, uh, the house itself is, is, you know, in my personal opinion, the houses couldn't be laid out better for uh, a two bedroom, one bath house. So the way it's set up is just perfect. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm doing all the talking, but uh, uh, the what another thing that we like about it is the upness. The and upness. Actually, we talked about the yeah, upness. Yeah, the upness is interesting because it was when we were looking for a house, we did not have it on our list. We did have mm -hmm. a very extensive list of what we wanted in a house 14 and a half years ago when we looked, and um, and Ira, who was the seller of this house 14 and a half years ago or wrote, seller's agent wrote, yeah. a seller's agent wrote a great brochure about the house and one of the things that it said was how great the upness was so yeah. what is upness for, upness for people who don't know what it is oh. uh, upness is a very upness important thing if you're looking at places <laughs> in berkeley because a lot of these houses are quaint and cute but people walk down the street and they look right in your eyes and you, as you're standing in your living room. And here we have upness. So we're looking in the trees, we're above people. So people can walk by and their dogs can walk by and they don't have to meet our eyes in the living room. Yeah. So we have a sense, this wonderful sense of privacy where we get to see people walking by, but we're not, they're not walking right in our face. Yeah, yeah. And there's also this quality of greenness in every single window in this house. It's so, it feels so private and yeah. you feel like you're in a little tree house yeah. and you really do have this feeling that you're in a kind of a haven and I've really felt so kind of protected and safe and comfortable in this place. Yeah. I've just loved it and we're going to a great place but and we're happy that we're going so it's a really good yeah. thing that we're leaving but we really do love this place and we will miss it. Yeah, I think uh, the light in this house is just you know, it's so funny when you buy a house, you, when you go and look, you don't think about these things, like the upness thing. Mm -hmm. I remember reading the brochure about upness, I'm like, oh, upness, I don't know, you know. And But we were talking about earlier, the way the house is set up, the way it's built and the direction is, in the summer, you get the sun and it goes right over the top of the house, and in the winter... So it doesn't, the, it doesn't shine yeah, right in and, yeah. and fry you. And in the, sun, in the winter, the, the sun falls lower and you get this great light in here. and uh, this house has very large windows and every room is very light and you just feel like you know you're surrounded by this natural light in this in this house and also it's very private you can go in the backyard and it, you, it's so private back there you could go back there and and no one can even see you back there and so you feel like you've got this this whole separate room that's that goes out it's like the the house with its just the way it feels like what Wynn's talking about the safety of the house and the, mm -hmm. when you come home you look at the house and, and it just makes you happy to look at it and, <laughs> and we were talking about when we painted it we painted it this great green color it used to be this really nasty looking gray in fact there's like four different colors do you of gray. remember that it was yeah, like I do, polka I do. dot and almost polka dot pe gray people came by and they were so happy people were coming by and going oh i love it i love that color it's so great and at that point, we were, one of the, we were one of the first people in the neighborhood in the street to paint our house anything but gray and white. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, now. And now everybody's got great colors going on in, on the street. Everybody started painting their houses different colors. And uh, I don't know. It's just, there's just so many things uh, that we've enjoyed about this house. And if anybody had told me in 96 that we would love this house this much, I would probably wouldn't have believed it because I just think it's been, you know, the most wonderful place that I think I've ever lived in since I was maybe a child. Really? And uh, oh yeah, and we've lived in Sausalito and Tiburon in San Francisco. It just has this feel about that. I think whoever gets this house or whoever buys this house is going to feel the same thing, and they're going to really love living here. I just I think it's going to be great when the when the winters come and the winters blowing. And uh, and you got your fire going because that fireplace is fantastic, and you're all cuddled in here in the wind and it's raining and, and and then when it comes spring when our plum tree plum which is right tree, out yeah, there yeah. which has the best plums in 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 Berkeley in fact they have a group that goes around and collects fruit really you, yeah they'll go around and get fruit for, if you can't eat it all because it, you cannot possibly eat and, yeah and they give it to the the homeless you know they take it to the homeless shelters and and i 
I had her come and pick fruit. I told her, this is the best plum, fruit, uh, plum jewel ever eat. And she came with her group and she called me back two days later and said, you are totally right. Those are the best plums I have ever had. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we have a great plum tree and we have a lemon tree. And when that birch is blooming and the locust tree and I don't know. You get this, there's just so many cool things about it that you're going to really cool. enjoy. Cool.